How's everyone doing? This is going to run me over time, and I hope Andrew will forgive my soul. <laughs> if you told me a year ago that I would have been here talking in front of you, I would have just laughed. It's such an incredible honor to be here that it's incredible. It's not that I have anything against being here. It's not that I have anything against doing a nonprofit. I'm doing one right now. But it was just so far out of the realm of possibility that it just never occurred to me. And as Ben showed us yesterday, it's all about possibility, isn't it? So, Vitana, before we get to that, though, I have a picture of the Earth behind me. What's the single biggest waste on Earth? Is it oil? Water? Some of you cheated. Maybe you looked at my website. <laughs> It's people. Think about what one mind can do. Think about what individual people have done. And then you think about all the people out there that can't do anything. It's people. Let's talk about microfinance. Incredibly successful. Billions and billions of dollars worldwide. Tens of billions of borrowers. Incredible secondary benefits women's rights, health, stability. If you have security, if you have physical security, assuming you're not getting shot at, microfinance gets you stability. You can, buy a, you can take out a loan, buy a cow, sell the milk. You can move out of the tin hut, start drinking cleaner water. But it doesn't get you that much further. To get from stability to being a productive, thriving member of society, you need education. If you talk to borrowers, they tell you that the real reason they're doing this is to put their kids through school so that they can get a proper education, a proper degree, and ultimately a proper respectable job. If you talk to the, if you talk to the banks, the microfinance banks, it t turns out they're itching to do this. They want to provide educational loans, but no one quite knows how to do this. And that's where we come in. What we do is education, micro, microfinance for education, person-to-person -person microfinance. If you know about Kiva, we're Kiva for students. When we launch, you'll be able to come to our website, hear our, meet our students, hear their stories, read about them, see their pictures. And if, you, if, one, of, if one of them really connects with you for whatever reason, if you find this deeper human connection with one of them, you can lend him money to go to school whether to become a teacher, or a welder, or an electrician. And then when they graduate, they'll, they'll go and pay you back. We're trying to build something really big. There's two things that we're trying to do. It's all, what we're trying to do is build something that can operate at scale. 100,000 students in five years. We know we can mobilize tens of millions of dollars. But on the grand scale of things, microfinance, billions of dollars worldwide, $10 million compared to the billions of dollars worldwide is nothing. And to really make a dent in the problem, you need those billions of dollars. What we're trying to do is prove a feasible model of education microfinance. We think if we can prove one of the fundamental parts of our model is that we work with microfinance banks locally on the ground. They provide us students. And by working directly with them, we figure out what works, what doesn't, and build a set of best practices such that when I approach the next microfinance bank, I can tell them that if you do X, Y, and Z, you can be reasonably confident that your, your student loan will get repaid. And when we do that, that's when those billions of dollars start flowing in. And that's when you start really making a dent in the problem. We're trying to create something bigger than us. It won't be, that money won't be coming to us. It'll be coming into the sector. And ultimately, it'll create something that is far, far bigger than us. Education has to come next. The borrowers want it. The microfinance institutions want to do it strategically from a social impact angle. Think Maslow's hierarchy of needs when you have 
physical security, when you have shelter, when you have health, the next thing that has to come is education. This is has, someone has to solve this in the next three to five years. We think we can accelerate the process a bit. And that's why we're here. Thank you.